finally 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 i found the courage to get the house the, get, get the cat out the fuck on my door i found the courage to get the car my door i was like fucking no. the guy this guy's so cute bro this guy's so cute but finally we need to focus finally courage got him out the door i don't know what he's doing he's not meowing so it's not like maybe not sad he wasn't coming so i was like we're good because most of the time we're kind of distracted and i see by the end of the time i finish all my tasks i'll be finishing an hour later than i was supposed to but now because i don't have the card i'm like stop doing the task and maybe pair on it's like nah you straight on straight on straight on straight on and then after you finish every single thing that's when you play that's when you do whatever and that's when you like go with your day that's when you go with your day you know when we focus Every single time, like yesterday, I didn't realize how long the video for me it seemed quick. For me, it seemed quick. For me, it seemed maybe most 20 minutes. I see, I finished the video and it's 42 minutes. Like, bloody hell, bro. Like, flow stage, flow stage shit is real. It's like, we'll be going and be like, we will I do this press record? Like, I don't know how long I'm going to be going after I just press record. I just simply had a sentence to say, quick, quick sentence to say, and I'm probably going to be going and going and going and going and going. Let's start. <laughs> Most important thing so far right now I want you to drink is water. Let's drink some fucking water. No alkaline, none, none of that bullshit. Just normal fucking water. If you got fucking thing on the tap that can filter it out, like all the other stuff, all the bad fucking things because that water is shit, then bro, fucking invest in it. I've tried, I've tried, and my mom just doesn't allow me to buy it because apparently it's not worth investment. But if you care about your health and you are allowed to actually buy that stuff, and if you care about your testosterone and all that shit, then buy it. It'll be worth it. Yesterday, I watched a video. I ain't even gonna get into whatever the fuck. It's about breathing. Let's, I'm simply gonna try to show you it. You try it and then you say by yourself, this this might be the first time you ever tried. You've probably heard of Wim Hof, but you've probably never even tried his breathing methods. Let's do it with me. All right. Let's do it together. All right. Precautions. I want you to sit down on your chair because this literally can get you fucking dizzy. It, you, you will see it once you like do it. But it can, like, kind of fuck you up. But if you sit down, you'll probably be good. <sighs> and you might pass out. You might pass out. You might pass out. That, but that's why you sit down and then you come back to consciousness rather than if you're, like, next to, I don't know, some still shit. If you're doing this breathing technique whilst watching on your phone and you drop it. Come on now. Sit on your chair. Sit anywhere. That's, you know, safe. Now let's go. I'm going to breathe in. And I'm gonna hopefully right here, right here, right here, right here is good, right. I'm gonna breathe in and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna breathe out and I'm gonna go down. Point is I'm gonna have a bigger breath and a smaller out breath. Three, two, one. <sighs> Breaths now. Still me. Keep going. Can take as much. We're nearly done. And then keep breathing, keep doing it. And then on your last out breath, so 
don't breathe it just stop and try not breathe for as long as you can as long as you can just try and not breathe I'm not really breathing to talk but after you after you've done stop breathing you still should be able to not breathe because this helps a lot with that and just like realize how clear your mind is realize after you've done that breathing how like clear and still your mind is literally maybe you, you might want to after this you might want to talk still you probably should be able to keep your thing breath in and then just about now slowly take a last inhale hold it for a few seconds and then exhale slowly and just realize how relaxed you are realize how like most of the stresses might literally have gone 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 up taken away from your shoulders literally just like that realize look around you for a second breathe out through your nose and just realize how still your mind is if this especially if this is your first time doing it then and if you're done like learning with me or if you explain it good enough then bro shit is crazy your mind your mind it just just gets so still so this is now something i will do every single day if i feel not good i don't feel good if i don't you know and it will help me clear my mind and probably get into the solution orientated mindset but mostly when i don't feel good it's simply because i'm not i'm trying to figure out a solution and it it, it may not work like i don't i can't figure it out so and then i get into like a spiral of thoughts of thoughts of forces like and i will pass and like we ain't done shit rather than think and we haven't even thought about good stuff so if i just like now start with the breathing i'll get my mind clear i'll get that shit off my shoulders and i'll be able to focus straight on task on task on task and then i'll probably be able to even figure out better because my mind is clear i'm able to see things straight away so if you, this is your first time bro it was my first time yesterday this shit was crazy that's, so that's why i have to just implement it this video drink some water with me And this shit was crazy, shit was crazy. He told me to like realize, just like I told you to realize, how still your mind was. And it's like, damn. It's like, it's kind of hard as well. It's like, you may, may feel dizzy, kind of. I don't know, we're all different, right? You kind of feel dizzy, you kind of feel your temperature kind of increase when you do it. You keep going and you keep going, and then when you stop, when you like, hold your breath for the longest amount of time well you know what just about the time i told you it's, it's a good enough time but then you realize the fucking that your mind is just so i didn't clear it's crazy man it's crazy so you could be doing you could be adding that thing onto your day every single life I've, this is like my first time ever this is literally like it's like I'm repeating the words as well. I'm re literally repeating the words of the, what the guy said. It is literally the fastest thing you can do to clear your mind. Literally the fastest thing. The fastest self improve. Like, you know, you go to the gym and it takes fucking eight years to fucking get a good body. This is literally, this thing can happen in an instant. You clear your mind. I'm repeating again what he said. Monks fucking meditate for years and years and years. They try to do it. Keep a clear mind. This can clear your mind in 30 breaths. And about 30 breaths that we do, this can clear your mind. It's crazy. And you can do it whenever you want. Whenever you want. You feel shit, do it. You want to school, go to the toilet, do it. It will literally clear your mind. It will literally get you in the, such a better fucking perspective mood. You know, like, you like you will be fucking better. And, like, you will approach the situation differently. And when you approach the situation differently, compared to the last time that you did it, you probably get different results. And because most of the times when you do stuff, you're doing shit. But now you do it differently, it's probably going to be much better and you'll get much better results out of it. So definitely.
definitely, that's definitely something I'm going to be implementing. Super quiet. Super quiet. What's the time? Oh, God damn. Uh, it's 5, 5 or 5, 5.15 a.m. right now. How grateful could you be? How 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 grateful could you be? No matter where you are, how grateful are you? It's 5 15 a.m. I woke up at 4 a.m. How grateful can you be? Because wherever, whenever, what my words, whatever in the journey you are in, or self improvement matter. Whatever you are in, ultimately, you are just going to reach that place. You know, it's like, unless you give up or, or, you, or you die, then you will fucking make it. You will reach your goal. The block is you die. Hey, I'm, I'm being serious. You die, you you die. You fucking die. You, you kind of shit back. You know, you get, you get, you get, you get, you get what I mean. You give up, you also don't reach it. Giving up is 100% guaranteed to make you fail. But if you don't give up, and then if you don't die, like, who, who, we're talking about dying, but like, you probably ain't gonna die. The fuck, you get the point. You just gotta keep going and keep going. It took me um two years, three years. I don't know if I'm making the maths. I have the years of math um thing right here. This, this is when I started myself on my journey. This is where I'm at. Am I being stupid? Like I, I said, I, I don't know. One, two, three. Is that three years or is it? Does it start here? One, two. I must be stupid for that, bro. But at the same time, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I didn't start at 15. This is just the first time I think I'm thinking about this because. I remember having a picture, 2020, it was 2020, and it said three years ago, literally three years ago, August, 2020, August something, not long ago, it was August something, right? But if that's the case, tonight, at that time, I still would have been 14, and by that time, I've moved to the next house, but before I even moved to the next house, I still already knew about North Ham. Because that North Ham was the first thing that introduced me to. So maybe I've just been longer than I thought. Maybe I just, like I said, I, I made I'm, I, I said in my videos, I've been since I'm 15. But maybe I think I might have been just when I was 14. Because I'm in this house that I'm in. I remember in the other house, I, I don't I don't remember watching the North Ham video first ever self improvement video in this house is 100% of a house and before I even moved to this house I was still 14 so you know what 14 is when I started my self improvement journey not 15 14 so now you can say it's three years probably should have added a 14 there but it took me three years three years to get here. two years and a bit because for the past like months I've been really really good really good on that shit Never, never like ever before. Never like ever before. Maybe I, I remember having a monk mode 21 days that I was consistent, but then I came back to YouTube, then I came back to FAP, and then I came back to all bad habits, then I came back to bad sleep, not taking the control, not doing the good habits, da da da. da. And even before that, before I like even knew. You kind of knew what to do, but like some, you don't even have enough information to actually do like meditating or like stretching or like reading a book. Reading a book, I found out reading a book when I went to my friend's house and he and he was reading self improvement books. I was like, yo, I need to step my shit up. Then I started reading a self improvement book. Meditating, I tried to convince myself every single time I could try to meditate, try to meditate, try to meditate. It never worked. It's not, and I say it never worked as in, not like I didn't see, see the benefits. It's like, it never worked as in the com I, I didn't convince myself enough to 
like I actually do the meditations I tried maybe one time two times maybe the most consistent I was was four times but it was like a habit I couldn't even get into now I fucking meditate every single day 30 minutes 25 minutes every single day but blame me even before that I was feeling and feeling and feeling so it took me a long time to reach this place three years actually three years the time's gonna go by anyway like from the time that I remember literally on my chair in my room probably before I played PS4 or probably before maybe maybe one hour two hours before I actually fell I, I watched the video and that was my first ever no fab like that was my first ever introduction to self-improvement because it got me into a spiral of other things from then on of other good things from then on but the time went past anyway from the time that I found out when I was 14 and now I'm 17 bam just like that same thing from the time that I'm 17 to when I'm 20, 25, multi-millionaire, just like that. When I reach my, just like that. The time is going to pass anyway, so you might as well start doing the fucking work right now. When you do the work right now, you're actually going to fucking be successful. Right? So that, uh, I don't know, I, maybe I'm oversimplifying this, but I don't want to overcomplicate this. Because I don't think it really is overcomplicated. It's hard, but it's not overcomplicated. It's not complicated. Three years from now, who knows where the fuck I'm gonna be? Four years, five. It's about like, like imagine I'm still gonna do this stuff, which I am. It's crazy. It's crazy what it took me in seventy days. Seventy, you know, three, four, five, six, six days, seventy six days. All those days were monk mode. So I've been on a monk mode for seventy six days, changing it up slightly, 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 just to make it as perfect, just to make it as. Like, yo, um, do you do this? Do you not do that? Okay, okay, let me switch up, let me switch up. This is the best for you, this is the best for you. Okay, let me not do that. Da, 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 da. Now we're here. On our fourth month mode, we're going to go to our fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're probably going to go for a whole year, and then a second, and then a third, because simply this is the best. Literally, this is the fucking happiest I've been. I can't be happy. I can't imagine myself going onto YouTube watching fucking Sadman like I used to. Watching fucking must be like I used to watch him fucking games and random shit like I used. I just can't imagine. I can't imagine me going back to games. I can't imagine me going back to fapping. Because this is the place where you are most free. This is the place like your whole basically. Your whole three years you struggled for. Your whole three. Saying it now is crazy man. Your whole three years of fucking struggle. You went through. You went through. To be here. You wanted freedom. When you fapped and you cried and you said you wanted to kill yourself because why the fuck are you still fapping? You wanted to be out of that place and you were out of that place. You were here. You were free. Like you don't like me, I don't get no urges. I am free. It's crazy man. It's like when I try to meditate and I just can't control myself and oh look look, I will go back to YouTube. I'll look about this. I have a thought in my head and I can't Get rid of it, so let's go fair. Dark times, and then we're just now here. YouTube, fucking watching YouTube, watching fucking movies, eating pizza at the same time, but also knowing inside my head, like, God damn, what are you doing? The fucking hell, you are like, like fucking self improvement, like, what are you doing? You know about this stuff, you know about this stuff, but no. Got a box of pizza, chilling, chilling, watching fucking rampage, eating shit. And then realizing how much fucking fat this shit has. And then and then also you try to work out, but then you look like you get pissed because you don't have fucking abs. About about that part it's like simply about not knowing if I knew. If if only you knew, if only you had the fucking mindset. Not even mindset, if only you like had the information and enough convincing of the to know how bad this shit is for you. You try to complain. Why don't you see your abs? Why don't you have money? Why are you eat pee or you eat crit? You eat chips, you eat chocolate, you eat shit. You've already known this stuff, but like simply that isn't enough information or convincing enough to like get anyone to stop, right? You have to probably fucking watch some videos. Go through some dark shit to like realize that this shit, this shit is stopping you. 
It took my diet was the longest thing I couldn't fix. I've thought a story many times. I thought one day watched the the video and he told me the simplest ever thing to do. I done it and my diet has been more. Or I have never been healthier. I've never been able to see my eyes like this before. So who fucking knows? Who fucking knows? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, look, you know, you know, what? go go eat your fucking junk. You know, cool. I have the case for you, then cool. I mean, I see fucking Alex. I'm always make videos about not skipping. Um, what's that cheat meal day or some shit? Not not skipping. Well, fuck. I, I don't know how. I, I, that, that, that that doesn't like connect my brain into like how the fuck does this guy tell people to eat shit? How? How can you? Do, what? I don't know, man. I, 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 he's literally telling me. I don't know, it doesn't comprehend my mind. But as I said, it took me a long time. It took me a long time to do it. Long time. Fucking going to the park so many times. Just like, yo, get yourself out the fucking house so you don't fucking fail. It's like, yes, we didn't fail for the whole fucking day. And then we come back home and then we fail. And the next day is school. And then go, makes it even worse. You failed. Oh shit. School tomorrow. Fuck. I'm back on day zero. Oh shit. No fucking woman attraction. Oh, the people will look at me different because they do look at you different. They do look at you different. I swear to God, man. I remember those days. I remember those days when I, like first before I even knew about NoVap, I didn't realize it because that's something I just didn't know about, right? Then I knew about NoVap, then I started to go in on the streets, and then it's like I saw I saw a difference. The way people talk to me, the fucking girls, like I finally actually talk to talk to girls. What the fuck? What the fuck? The first time I ever reached the highest day, which was 21 days, which is a good day for like a starter, for a person who has like fucked every single day for the rest. For the most of their lives since nine, eight, seven years old. Most of their lives, right? And then randomly reach one twenty one day, you be struggling to bring body, you be struggling and struggling, but you reach one twenty one day, twenty one days, no fuck. You fucking feel this energy, you feel this vibrancy, you walk different, you talk different, randomly the fucking hottest chick in the fucking school comes up to you talking to you like nothing, like nothing. The fuck? I ain't no one fucking says I ain't no like bro. Especially now, you know, it's fucked. But before I, I, I look, before I look better, but point is like randomly, I don't know where people start talking different to you. I've never talked to this girl. I remember in year seven, the first time I ever talked, and probably the last time I ever talked was when I asked for a pencil. I was like, yo, I needed a pencil. No one asked. And then Sir was like, yo, um, anyone have a pencil? And then I saw her bringing her pencil. I was like, yo, Giselle, da da da. Bam. I need to fucking block that out because I just said the name. That ain't good. <sighs> need to fucking block that out. God damn you stupid cunt, bro. I said a name now. I have to go through the fucking thing to block it out. But right, that's the only time like, I could ask for a pencil from this girl. And then, yeah, I got it. I got it. That's, and that was the last time in year 7. And then the like, second time in like year 10 or year 11. Probably, no, nah, it was definitely year 10. 21 days, randomly she th stop talking to you, the fuck, the fuck, is this a coincidence, my guy, is this a coincidence, but look, you fail, you fail, maybe you, you fail on day 28, or you feel the attraction for five days, because it's all day, like, yo, she be looking at you, she be, like, this is the hottest chick in the fucking school, everyone knows this, everyone, every single person knows this, right, but this should be talking to you, and then you fail, and then fucking hell, shit switches, shit hits 30, 60 degrees, fuck, no, 180, my dumbass, hit shit his 180 degrees, bam, don't talk to you, don't look at you, no nothing, day zero, that makes you feel so fucking shit, so fucking shit, but you're still in a class though, you're still in a class, and then when miss tells you to go up to her, no, not go up to her, but like, because, like, this is our class, the stuff that she has that I have to do, and I need help because I'm falling back on my class, cool, I go to the seat, I feel so fucking uncomfortable, my guy. Day zero. Day zero. She sees how uncomfortable I am. She sees. And so she says, Come sit down. I don't buy it. Or something along the lines. I don't buy it. Like, fucking hell. How fucking sad is that? Hearing that, bro. 
it only took me some time to realize like, how sad that was but then i didn't realize like, i was just f super fucking stressed out but like imagine this person yo i don't buy she didn't say yo like, imagine a girl saying come sit down i don't buy it. trying to fucking test you or, like degrading you my guy degrading you you were fucking zero day zero or some shit you be fucking fucking up yourself so you, you deserve it but that made me feel so shit i remember like standing up going back to my seat oh before before i'm going back to my seat god damn i was like there's two chairs she's right here next to me i'm fucking staying away as much no confidence no nothing before i could actually fucking talk before i failed the day before i could talk da, 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 da. and then no confidence after that so like i'm fucking sitting away as far as fucking possible to not fucking wow well, she's you know chillin', chillin'. Like, like. How fucking sad that is. How fucking sad that is. I, I wish I would. Look at me. Fucking 21 days, 28 days was the hardest fucking thing. Look at me. I reached a year. I fucking reached a year. 160 days a year. A 70 day. Look at my fucking. This isn't, this isn't even about the day count. It's because also we're making the days count as well. Like fucking. Imagine me talking and being in back in year 10 right now. Obviously, I'm fucking gone, but like, but yeah, as I said, I was going back to my um chair. I was going back to my chair, and whilst I was going back, god damn, it felt the most fucking shittest feeling. Like, I remember her talking to me normally. I remember feeling that fucking energy. I remember feeling that woman attraction, you could say. Because this is the first time she'd ever talked to me. First time, randomly reached a high day and had just high fucking presence. Wow, everyone, basically the whole school doesn't even know about enough. Whole school fucking fat, fucking billions of gallons the day before. I said billions, thousands of fucking gallons of milk, bro. All the boys. You get what I'm saying? And then there's you. So I'll be going to my chest like, fuck, you know, bro. I feel the difference. Now she's just a bit different. Now that she thinks everything like just from her, from all around the fucking energy. The, it's like people treat you fucking differently. Like, bro, I failed. What the fuck? What is, what is this? What are we and it makes you like. I sit down. It's like fucking. Basically. Saying to myself, I'm never gonna fucking fail. I failed again, by the way. But this is just like one of the times. It's crazy, man. It was like such a fucking dark moment. Like, bro, I, I don't want to be treated like this, bro. And so I told myself how this fucking moment is the reason why you should never fucking fail. Just like any, just like you, your, your usual you trying your best. Like, look, I tried my best. I still failed, but I tried my best. That's fucking, and look, we keep trying and I kept trying and I kept trying and now we're at least free, you know? I wish I was free back then, so, you know, people didn't treat me different, but sometimes you just have to go through that shit. Sometimes you just have to go through that shit. So then I'm just like, reminiscing about fucking shit that I've done, like, bro, yesterday, imagine you haven't failed. Guess what? Teacher tells you up to go to her, you'd be sitting cool, let's go. We can chat, we can fucking do this, that, bow, 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 you know, I'll maybe fucking get Instagram, actually talk, that, that, that. But nah, you failed fucking uncle for the good. It's some bullshit, man. It's some bullshit. So imagine if I find out about this. No fucking 12 years old, how crazy would that be? I'd probably fucking go into year 10, year 11, fucking different, different mode, different mode to every single person out there. Because every single boy, every single boy fucking probably factually yesterday, more than twice, right? Like, like, imagine, really think about this. Around the world, every single man, every single man on a general basis, 90% of all those men probably fat yesterday. Imagine all those fucking gunners busted. Imagine piling up all those balls. Fucking gunners, putting them into a whole spot, that'd be a fucking big wood of fucking semen. I ain't trying to think gay, but that's a lot of fucking men. And then there's you, who also do that here, isn't weird, and actually gets the fucking benefit from it. And it's, right, this didn't happen once, this happened a second time in our class again. This time I was probably day one, and this time I was treated even worse. 
This time I was cheating on the boys. I had art at the end of the day. In the morning, I felt shit. People were fucking talking shit. Not, not talking, just giving with vibes. When you, you know when you have that different energy. When you are on day 28, good energy, good vibes. The whole time, good vibes. Maybe one bad day, because like, oh, you did, you skipped the cold shower, right? But like, for the most part, good days, good vibes from people when you go to school, da, 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 you fail. Everything shit, everything fucked up. I don't know why. I mean, like, I tried to think, like, oh, yo, no, no, you don't lose your progress, but it's like, you literally lost your progress. Like, why the fuck are people treating you differently? So it's the morning, people treating you differently. Girls, like, the people, the girls that I normally talk to, like, yo, what was up, what's up? Like, cool, you say hi. No, weird as fuck. Maybe they on the period school, fair enough, maybe that was one day, but is that a coincidence? Come on, man, come on, let's ready. So the day goes and the day goes and it just gets worse and worse and now we're in art. And I know how fucking shit I feel because there's, there's this girl that I like fucking like, maybe. Fucking, you know? And then you're on day zero, bro. My guy, you're on day zero. You fucked up. You go in and then shit vibes, shit vibes from then on. This guy that fucking used to talk to you, actually fucking look at you as like you felt a fucking attraction. You felt attraction when you were on day 28, day 27, 26, 25, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 26. Oh, gone. Oh, gone. And then again, I just start reminiscing. This is another streak, by the way. And then again, I just start reminiscing. Like, fucking hell, you failed. You're probably day one, day two. Like, god damn, I feel so fucking shit. And it's kept happening and happening and happening and happening. The f like highest day I reached was fucking probably in like my secondary school times. The highest day I reached was 42. 42 was my highest day. And now we're free, right? We could go for years. But 40 day, 42 days was my highest. That was like a super fucking good streak. Like... <laughs> Shit is different, man. Shit is different. Life truly is different, and all fuck is like the best fucking over all overall the best and first self development thing you should do. Literally, not fact. And that's the first thing I found out. So you know, I'm grateful that I found out as the first thing because that is the first thing everyone should be focusing on. Not focusing on the fucking like, not focus on it. But I mean like. Knowing you shouldn't be doing this, knowing the side effect, knowing the da 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 da. <sighs> There's a big difference, man. There's a big difference. There were so many times, so many times. The woman attraction was real. The benefits were real. You took different. You were confident. You fail. All that gone. You come back and you come back, oh shit, they treating you different again, yo, like, they treating you good, yo, again, you like, fucking reaching day 13, 14, oh, you 20, like, god damn. It's probably the first time I'm telling the story, and this is the first time outside of school I've ever been asked out. And no cap, I pussy out, but, like, I usually don't ask out no one, but this is the first time randomly I was on... <laughs> Bro, I don't know why, but day 21 was like my fucking special gift. I don't know why. Something on day 21, most of the 21 day fucking streaks was something special. I don't reach much of them, but, you know, the one that I did was special. On day 21, and I remember this because I think I just, no, I just, I don't know. It was such a special moment for me. Like someone fucked asked me out for the first time, but the fuck I've been trying now. It's not a fact thing. Like, yo, I see the benefits. Woman in church. Whoa. And for the first time in my life, I'd be asked out. The fuck? The fuck? So it's like clearly the shit works. I've been asked out. Good vibes. Let me tell you how the fucking conversation went. I've been walking. I've been walking home. Uh, I'm past an area. I'm near my house. Maybe two, three minutes near my house. I'm walking home. There's. I don't I didn't realize these people were walking, but then there's this guy. There's one, two, three, maybe three, four people. Maybe even two, three, maybe two, three, right? I think, you know, there's three. There's one guy and two girls. One guy, the guy is like, yo, this girl, like, he's been, she, like, yo, he's, 
she talking about you, she's talking about you, she, like, because I'm walking past, we're, like, walking past, and then this guy just says, yo, you, like, that way older than me, probably, like, this guy was talking about you, she's, like, I don't know, what was the word? Something you look good, I, I, it sounded like that, right? And then, how the fuck, bro, I have it in my head, how do I fucking explain it? I don't know, the guy just introduced me to her, kind of, no. And then she said hi, and then the way I backed out of it was, like, I was 14, 15, definitely not 16, 14, 15, around that time. And then, I backed out of it, this is how I backed out of it. These guys were definitely older, I knew it, but... I backed out of it because I said I was I was 14 and 15, but I said I was 13. Even if I said I was 14, 15, I'd still probably be like, yo, then that's too young. I said I was 13. I said I was 13. And then he's like, damn, that's that's the way I like I usually fucking did the back out because I did look young. That's why I said to back out. And then like, yo, damn bro, you you're fucking tall 13 or da da da. And then he's like, because this is all good vibes, I'm, I'm explaining it so shit, but it's all good vibes. And then it's like, the guy says, yo, bro, like, you like, dabbing me up, like, bro, you bro, when you grow up, you think going to be big, bro. Like, and then I'll be like, yo, it's already big, bro. And then it's like, yo, is it okay? And then the girl's like, oh, bro, it's fucking good vibes. And this is the first time. And then after that, that whole fucking debacle, I go to the, like, bench, maybe. 10 meters away from where I am, go to the bench and I just sit down and I remember fucking, it's like, it's like, I can remember it right now, fucking trees in front of me, the gate in front of me, the bus stop right there, shops, um, if I walk this way, there's my house, I'm sitting on my fucking bench, it's like, damn, thank God, like I'm really trying to appreciate this moment, I'm trying to appreciate this moment as much as I can, like, damn, it's literally thinking about it, like, this is the first moment, this is this is definitely because of no fuck. This is definitely there's something different about it, man. I talk different to those people. I talk different. I felt the vibes. It's like I'm finally reaching normal. I'm actually a fucking normal person, if not better, because normal is fucking those people fapping how many fucking times a day? Those like every single man around the world, every single boy around. So you know what? I'm fucking more than normal. And I was just like. Trying to fucking appreciate this moment like there. I remember telling it to my friend as well, like bro, you should get on this man. My guy, you should get on this. He sent me after, but like I'm telling him to get on this, bro. This is this shit is serious. There's like a whole new life. No fact. Next thing you know, you fucking fail seven days after. <sighs> or eight or nine. Who knows? Or maybe a day after, probably not a day after, but he failed. I gotta check out my cat, hold on. My guy was meowing, so you know what? I did record a good enough video. I'm probably gonna take him out again. At least we had to focus, you know. But yeah, uh, you probably hear him like fucking whatever the cat does. He's a cute little fella. Cute little fella. Honestly, hope the best for you, man. I remember I wanted to kill myself because every single time I failed, like, I remember those benefits I had. I remember the energy I had from those people. It was fucking wonderful. It was for the first time I have ever fucking experienced that shit. It was crazy. So, you know, I wish that experience for you. I wish it. Because it's, like... Technically, it's like one of the best times of your life. You'd be fucking a loser all your time, all your life. And then randomly, you, people treat you different. People treat you different. Your life is different. You talk different. You are different. And for the better, different. So I do hope the best for you, man. And it was some fucking dark times so over a week, I'd say, from the time when I was 14 to the time when I was 16 and
close coming up to when I was 17. It was some fucking dark times. You know what? More dark times probably than good times. But those good times, as short as they were, definitely outweighed the bad times. And you know what? I carried on because of it. I was like, yo, there's no way I'm fucking letting myself give up and staying in this shit place where your people treat you differently. You are different in a bad way. Da 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 da. No, I want to change. I want to change. I want to be that place, I want to be the guy at 21, I want to be, you know, if I'm on day 21, imagine when I'm fucking free, you know, day 360, 90, day 90, you know, I live, I need to fucking reach day 90, woo, <laughs> but honestly, just being free, bro, it will take time, bro, so many times I fucking tried killing myself for a fucking pillow, so, because <laughs> I felt, and I was like, yo, I don't want to go back to school, yo. I remember, oh, you know what, let me tell this thing and girl. I, I remember, I felt, I was like, and I have it in my notes. I can, yo, I'm going to tell myself to edit in the video. I'm going to take a screenshot and like show it in my notes. Hopefully the edit in works. I'm going to show it in the notes how like I felt. Because I tried taking notes, like journaling on my note app. Before I started journaling on that paper, but I journaled a notepad. And I was like, it's because I failed, right? It's because I failed. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. This was like the end of the year before the next year. Fuck this. I am not going to school. I literally did not go to school because I knew how fucking different it would be. But it got even worse. I said, I got fucking depressed back then. My God. I failed. And I was like, yo. And I wrote this down. Hopefully you can see on the thing right now on the screen. Hopefully you can read it. You know what? I'm going to be silent real quick. This is the editing when it comes in. Okay, no, now hopefully the editing comes up. And if it did come up, then you'll be able to, like, pause and see what I said. But it was something like, yo, fuck this. I'm failing so much. I ain't going back to school. You know, I don't, I, I didn't say the rest of the details, but I just didn't want to feel so bad. I failed it. Fucking failed. So, guess what? I, I went to the park. I sneaked out. And so, like, my mom, uh... She had to get my sister to school and normally my me and my brother went to school and like she knew it. So all I did was stayed in my room and hid. I stayed in my room. I you fucking know. I stayed in my room and hid behind the door. And when my mom called, I was like, yo, does she know I'm in the house? And then I was like thinking maybe she's just calling just to see. So I stayed silent and then she closed the door and then obviously I started packing up the stuff. I get my money. I go out the house, I probably get like a basketball, and then I go shopping, I buy fucking chips, shit food, fucking, I go see we buy fucking donuts, da 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 da, and I be chilling in the park, even more depressed. Hey, you fucking goddamn. <sighs> and then we go back to school, we go back to school, it's like 10 a.m. We, because I figured it out, right? Um, if you go out through the other, like, um, if you go through the front door, not through the front door, like, um, reception area, you will get a detention. So I was like, fuck this. And before that, I kind of, like, figured out how to open the gate. Like, this gate, I had a locker, and I figured out the code because I was just, like, checking the code. Like, what, what what's the code when the teacher does it, right? And I just remembered the code. And then when you do it, the door was also broken. That's why they had, like, the locker, because the door was broken. If you, like, push it, just little, little, like, Quick push, like enough strength, not like, little strength, just pow, it will open. And then you quickly look it back. So I could come at 10 a.m., I could come at 11 I could come at 12 and not get detention. My mom wouldn't get the call because I'm not in school. Because the only way that call will happen is if I go through the reception area to notify them that I'm fucking late or whatever the fuck. So then, then that's when like they will notify my mom. But now nah, I could come at 10, whatever the fuck, and open the gate and I'd get nothing. And then like after some time, after maybe two months, three months, I got caught. And you know what it is? It is what it is. I didn't get much trouble. I got a fucking hour oh, detention. Rather than fucking missing all those 20 minutes, 20 minutes, which been fucking many detentions for being late. You know, worth it. But that's why I used. Because I knew I wouldn't get detention for being late. So I went to the park. And I didn't want to go to school anyway. But I still had to go fucking school because, you know. If I did went like missing for fucking like a week or so, then shit would be up, shit would be up. So I still had to go to school and it did full shit. Cause you, you know you're on day zero, but 
many fucking stories, man. And I need to become a better storyteller to become because the stories that I've been fucking are fucking meaningful as fuck. They really are. They fucking there's something that hit deep. They hit deep. You know, you struggle for a long time. You struggle for a long time. So I hope the best for you. I truly hope the best for you. Don't fucking try and kill yourself because literally failure, failure is what it is. It is what it is. It's going to happen inevitably. If I knew when I was failing it, you know when I fucked? If I knew that if this is a failure and that's okay, you're just going to keep going, then I would have never given myself and I would have keep going and I probably would have reached success much faster. I probably would, would have reached higher days. No, I wanted to come myself. It's like, it's like it made it worse. It made the whole process bad. But it could have made the whole process good and better because I would have probably reached higher days if I just knew that failure is okay. But that's the thing I'm saying to you on the North Up journey. It took me three years and it probably took me longer than it needed to because I fucking felt shit about failing. Even though for nine years I fucking felt like, come on, man. Try your best. You go through that shit. But look, you become free afterward. The experiences I have fucking good 21 day streaks, 42 day streaks. When people like literally tell some person, two people, or three, tell a person, which is your friend, tell the, my friend, yo, this guy's different. Like, yo, the girl's like, there's a girl that's saying to my friend, and then my friend telling me, like, yo, she said, like, damn, Casper's like really on something. Like, he he does anything like because th- th- this is from the moment when a person or a teacher told me to do 50 push-ups and i've done like 50 push-ups or like 48 or 49 but i really fucking did it i was like yo i can do it and he was like okay do it then do it and then i did it and then it's like people around me this after PA class it's like the girl told my friend and then my friend told me it's like oh, i wish i could say exactly what he said because it made it sound so much better but it was something like Casper does anything. It's definitely not that. Oh man. But really, the, the thing that my, my friend said is just like made me fucking feel good. This was about day 41, day 40. Two days before our payment. This was my high streak as well. It's made me feel different, man. Made me appreciate, like, damn. When people be talking good about you, I would have not done the push ups. I would have not been fucking motivated or fucking disciplined to do anything. Would have not got that reaction. If I was on day 42, and honestly, like, I wish even then I didn't count. You know what? Bullshit. I counted, and it is what it is. It takes some time for, like, you to stop counting days. I don't count days anymore, but it took me a long time to get over that barrier. So you know what, I don't blame you if you count your days, but I guess I'd say don't count your days, but I did it, and it was fine, and three years later, I'm fucking good, so you know, I just hope the best for you, I really, really fucking do hope the best for you, this shit's amazing, and we're only three years, we're, at, we're free at least, who knows what's to come, I'm 17 years old, so many fucking stuff to do, so many goals you can achieve, so it's a good place to be in. To reach fucking success, you gotta do what you know you need to do to be at the place that you wanna be.